picture where when you do not want to use a data. Right? So you, instead of having 10 data, you want to use just 3 of it and to see which one are the most important. Like, sir, in one of your slides, you said no, that you have like, more 80 GB of data and you just grab only about 640 MB of the like, amount. Right. So is it quite similar to that type of techniques only? What do you have applied there? Uh, sequences, uh, like same sequences only for coding region or uh, for engineering? For the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But it can be taken quite so. And how, uh, how, can, uh, how do you deal with uh, that uh, vocal sequences? Where is it? Hold on. Hold for a particular coding, but the coding is a very... But they put for the, for the same for the same animal. But the problem comes when the animation change. It also happens when the same time, same uh, physical chemical uh, uh, property of uh, that animation is altered. Uh, but uh, suppose uh, there is some change which uh, alters the animation, and then it results it into a uh, disease. Then how do you detect that? It is yeah, a yeah, so, so the change in amino acid is essentially dictated by the snap. Some SNPs can be silent mutation, what we call it. And then some SNP can result in a change in the amino acid. So that is taken care of SNP. So all you have to take is, do is put them in order and see a linear plot. Then if the, the, the key lies, if I go back to the picture again. Yeah. Somewhat, somewhat different than this, then you can you know, see how good your uh, model is. <laughs> 